Hi and welcome to the Awesome Shop channel. I'm your host Mohamed Awesome, and in this particular screencast, I'm going to show you what KVC is all about. KVC stands for Key Value Coding, and it is basically the magic uh, in Cocoa that we don't really know about because it happens behind the scene. Okay, so let's first check out this customer class. You can see this is couple of properties first and last name orders and if I want to just set the first name I'm going to say customer dot first name and then the name basically the property that I want to set and the value right now there are some other ways of setting this you can say customer and set value for key and if you know there's another method is called set value for key path um, we're going to talk about set value for key right now and in the future, or in the, in the you know, in the demo, I'll talk about later f of uh, for key path. So set value, uh, and we can do the same thing. Value is just Muhammad, and then key is the key that we're going to set, which is the first name, which is actually the property. Okay. Now you might be saying that, hey, why would you ever use this particular, you know, syntax or this particular technique? when you can use simple dot notation. Now in most of the scenarios, so also this one, customer dot first name, if you're using a dot notation, it is okay, it is fine. But one of the things that you will notice about this one and uh, is the key is actually passed in as a string. And that is the important point, uh, important concept of the KVC is you, are, you have an object and you are setting the value of an object but you're not sure or you don't really know what the string or the key will be it can be anything right and this can be any object so this gives us a little bit of uh, power to us because we can send in any object and we will send in any property okay maybe it, it is a property on that object maybe it's not if it's not it's going through an error but if it is, it is a property it's going to return that particular value of that property or set when you set the property right in the same way you can actually get the value out um, by simply saying customer and then value for key path or value for key okay now of course in this particular scenario when you are simply setting the customer uh, values or the customer properties it, it won't really make sense to to do that right let's go ahead and check out an example where it will make sense so I have a custom cell it's just a UI table view cell and it has a source property now source can be any object and it has a title property or it and it has a substring property actually we can also for sake of this argument or sake of simplicity we can uh, actually say over here in a string a new property called property so this can be any property that you want so you have a source object which can be any object and then you have a property which is a string which can be anything because it's a string right um, when you're setting the source what I want to do is let's go ahead and source equal to source and then self and an update I'll call the update method we don't really have an update method as you can see I'm going to go ahead and implement the update method um, inside the update method what we're going to do is we are going to let's say ID let's say value and then source which is any object um, value for key and what is a key in this case the key is self dot property okay and then I can actually say um, self dot text label dot um, text equal to value description and this is of course going to be used in a UI table view controller so I'm just going to make this one my initial controller I'm going to have 
refresh this. Um, so now inside this controller, I'm already getting the custom cell, right? I can say cell dot property, and this is a custom cell, of course. So I can actually, you know, say anything, basically any property I want. Um, we also need to get a customer, right? So I'm just going to create a customer and then a customer and then you can say customer dot first name uh, John okay we're not going to set the last name because we're only dealing with the first name uh, but you can do that and then cell dot source equal to customer now in this case what's going on we have created a customer we have set the property first name to John we have created a we're assigning the property uh, which actually is called property to first name okay and first name is basically a key and we're assigning the cell dot source to the customer okay what happens if it it goes over here of course and first this one gets fired because we are setting the source and then it updates it doesn't know what the source is what kind of prop uh, object is it and it doesn't know what kind of object is property but it's still going to get the value of it and then uh, set it up you know for the label let's actually run this see what happens here we go we get John over here right which is the first sim that we are setting um, so the idea is that when the in inside the UI table view controller you are setting the customer you're setting that hey uh, you know set the property to first name which will display as kind of like a label but we don't know I mean that when the uh, UI table view cell is actually setting these things it has absolutely no idea about the structure of the object it doesn't even know that if the property will be on that object okay so that's the basic concept of uh, KVC okay and for the sake of simplicity we can actually give it cell dot title we do have these title um, fields over here you can see and um, inside of this we can say title I guess right let's run it and of course it will have the same result if you want to do something with the uh, last name you can say customer dot last name equal to uh, whatever do so this will be title and then cell dot subtitle equal to last name and then you can go over here in the custom cell and you can get the same thing over here id uh, subtitle equal to value for key um, self dot subtitle and um, you can say self dot description no detail actually detail dot text subtitle description and of course when you run it you will get the sub uh, the last name in the subtitle now uh, KVC the key value coding when you are doing that uh, it also ha give you advantages to set up some uh, collection operators basically so you can do some crazy kind of uh, you know calculations you can do uh, functions on the uh, NS array and it's mutable array and all of that things all of those things right um, how you do that let me actually show you what I'm going to do is I have orders just going to create over here something there we go so basically I'm creating an orders pro property and um, what else I'm doing is I'm populating the orders okay and now uh, we will talk about that value path right so let's say um, if I'm going over here 
and let's say instead of this I have value for key and then value for key path. So value for key path basically means that it can be a nested path, it can be a hierarchy. So in other words, if I have a customer with which is set as a source and it has a property name orders, so I can say orders, okay, dot, and I can say, I don't know, title. So it will traverse into that. If I have uh, this source over here is customer and it has a property name address so I can say over here okay address dot street so this is basically value for key path and this is how you use value for key path right so let's go ahead and use this one value for key path um, I'm just gonna say self dot uh, subtitle I mean no yeah subtitle Of course it, um, yeah, so this is a key, the subtitle is a key, all right? Now if I go over here, you can see the subtitle is set up as last name. So we can do, as I said, we can do some crazy kind of um, collection operators. So I can say orders dot sum dot amount. That's cool, right? And now if you go ahead and go into the customer.edge, you can see that I have a property name orders. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm using the sum operator, which will go ahead and sum um, by the property name in the orders. And I think if I open this, you will see that there is a property name amount in the order object and I'm doing this using uh, this particular syntax basically it's a dot syntax and uh, since uh, orders is a NS mutable array I can do this okay so let's actually go ahead and run this see what happens and here we go so it's uh, you know Right, 45 and there are some other operators that you can use like average and all that I believe if I say average it might average uh, the orders or the amount which is five so average amount of order is like five um, so this is it I mean this is the power of KVC um, if you want to you know you have collection operators also and then um, over here, of course, it's working because over here the sub uh, self dot subtitle comes out to be this, right? Orders dot sum dot amount and value for keypad. I mean, value for keypad will still work for um, your single notation. Like if you have subtitle, I mean, if you have first name or something, it will still work. And it's actually better to use value for keypad because uh, you can pass in nested hierarchy. So that's pretty much it for the KVC and um, in the next screencast I will show you key value observing which actually means that how you can observe the changes in these properties and how you can notify other parts of the code that some of the properties have actually got changed. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more.